You clowns make me do the dorkiest things. It's not dorky, it's fun. Now, the notes are typed, right, not handwritten? Yeah. yeah. Okay. The game is called Secret Confessions. The idea is to tell someone in a note something you're too embarrassed to tell them face to face. What I'm embarrassed about is this dorky game. Okay. First one's to Tucker. Thanks for letting me be in the Midnight Society from Andy. You're not supposed to sign him, Dimwad. You're not? <laughs> it's called Secret Confessions. It's cool. You're welcome, Andy. Okay. This one's to... to Andy. I'm glad you're my friend. There you go. Cool. Okay, the next one. This one's to Andy again. I'll bet your zipper's down again. <laughs> Come on, read one to somebody else. Okay. This one's to Venge. You remind me of me. Is that good or bad? It depends on who wrote it. Okay, the last one. Oh, it's for me. I always wanted to tell you that you're pretty. <sighs> Thanks to whoever wrote that. All right, has this got anything to do with your story? Of course. Getting secret notes is cool, especially if they're good ones like this. But what if you got a note that wasn't so great? What if it warned you about something evil? What would you do? Submitted for the approval of the Midnight Society, I call this story. The Tale of the Secret Admirer. Maggie Evans was one of those girls who kind of blended in. She didn't have many friends, and most kids in her class didn't even know her name. But someone knew who she was, and that someone was watching. Do you feel the same way about me that I feel about you? <laughs> Meet me in the wood shop right away? Do for you? Uh, I, I got your notes. <laughs> you gave her a note. What's it say? Oh, kiss me. Oh, kiss me. Give it back to I me. I love you. Here, it's not for me, okay? Hooch. Hey. What is it, sweetie? Whatever it is, I know what you're going through. I went to Monroe High, too. You think you know what's going on just because you went to my school? No. I was 15 once. Don't you get it? It's not the same for me. You're a beautiful girl. Leave me alone. Close the door. Hey. Hey. 
but you had a rough day today. Want to talk about it? Your mom and I are going to the scoop for some ice cream. What do you say? I have too much homework. Come on, take a break. No, it's okay. You guys go, I'll be fine. Okay, but if you want to talk, I want to listen. listen. I wasn't scared by a pair of long johns. <laughs> nice. Drip dry. But the door, it moved. The window's open. The wind's blowing pretty hard. Uh, and there was a message in the mirror. <laughs> Don't be embarrassed. It's easy to freaking see things in the dark. I once thought I saw a scarecrow coming at me on the couch with a hammer. And what was it? 
my dog with his food bowl. I felt dumb, but I never forgot to feed him again. Oh, wait. Uh, what are you doing here anyways? Uh, oh, yeah. Um, I came to apologize for today. You know, for the way those guys acted. It's all right. No, it's not. They can be real jerks. I'm sorry. So you're not the one sending me the notes? No. Hey, that means you have a secret admirer. Yeah. I guess so. So I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. And um, thanks, you know, for everything. Good night. So, I'll see you tomorrow? She won't talk about it. She just keeps saying I wouldn't believe her. If you don't stay away from Maggie, I'm gonna hurt you, Superstar. Maggie! Hey, Maggie. Uh, hi. Hi. Uh, listen, have you gotten any more of those secret notes? No, why? What is with this guy? I don't know. Whoever he is, he's a chicken, and there's absolutely no reason to be afraid of him. But he threatened you. This? Hey, now that I know you, it's gonna take a lot more than a goofy note to keep me away. You mean that? Don't worry about this loser, Maggie. You'll probably never even hear from him again. <laughs> Thanks. You are the man! Oh, man! <laughs> You in the bed, dude. I mean, I never thought in a million years you'd get her to kiss you. Not cool, guys. I priced so. I, mean, I wouldn't let her kiss me. Mickey, this is not what you think. <laughs> Drop the axe, man. The pooch is gone. Who is it? It's Nick. Go away. Please, Mickey. I bet. I wasn't a part of it, I swear. Go home, Nick. Wait, there's another note for you out here. Is it from him? Meet me in the wood shop tonight. I'll be waiting. Let me take care of this dweeb for you. I'll go to the wood shop and make him leave you alone. I want you to leave me alone. Wait. I don't know how else to say this, but I really like you, Maggie. I wish you'd believe me. Maggie, is there a problem? No. Nick was just leaving. 
So I'm gonna go meet that guy and tell him to leave you alone. Just stay out of it, Nick. Maybe it'll prove I'm telling you the truth. No, Nick, don't! I remember that bag. Wasn't that yours in high school, Maggie? What did you call her? Didn't you know? That's what they used to call me in high school, too. And you look just like your mom did back then. But the note, it was for me. The note? What note? Where did you find this? School, someone put in my bag. It must have been stuck in the lining all these years. You mean this was for you? You wouldn't understand, sweetie. Oh, Margaret. Daddy, wait. What's going on? Ancient history, Maggie. Another time. But it's my history, too. Talk to me. His name was Teddy Mars. He's a real foul ball. Pay thief, vandal, you name it. What did he look like? You know, I don't remember. Anyhow, he had a crush on your mom and he started giving her notes. Are you sure you want to hear this? <laughs> your mother didn't like the guy, but didn't know how to tell him, and he didn't take the hints. Then one night, he asked her to meet him in the wood shop, but I went instead. Wood shop? I found him in the finishing room. He was spraying this wooden heart with lacquer. He carved it for your mom. I told him that she wasn't interested in him, but uh, he didn't believe me. He wanted to hear from her. He started to argue. He kept calling me superstar. He pushed me and pushed me again. I, I didn't want to fight because he was a dangerous guy, but finally, I had to push back. And? Teddy fell. Hit his head on the drying lamp. When the bulb broke, and there were sparks, and lacquer is pretty flammable. Next thing I knew, kaboom. I was blown right out of the room. Oh, no. I was lucky. I hurt my arm. But Teddy... Teddy died in the explosion. Why didn't you tell me the truth before? We wanted to wait till you're old enough to understand. I really hope that's today. So that's my tale of woe. Well, tell me, what's been bothering you? Is it that guy Nick at the door? Nick. Maybe what? I gotta go! Hey, anybody here? Maggie alone. Ha, ha, ha. 
This time, Mickey's gonna be mine. Turn to fry, superstar. Time for you to answer my note. I need to know. Do you feel the same way about me as I feel about you? No. No, Teddy, I don't. I don't feel the same way at all. Who's that guy? Sad kid who finally learned the truth. Yeah? And what is the truth? It's something you gotta listen to. Even if you don't like what you hear. Have you been telling me the truth, Nick? Yeah, I have. So then, the only thing that's not absolutely perfect about you is that you have jerky friends? Yeah? I can deal with that. The end. That was a good story. <laughs> So, how does it really feel to have a secret admirer? Wait, I read this wrong. It says for Megan's game. This is not for me. <laughs> Goof. So, who's got the secret admirer? Well, you do. Can't say I'm surprised. What to say again? It says, I always wanted to tell you that you're pretty. Pretty much a dork. <laughs> 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 you really are a dork. Who wrote this? Sorry, that would be a secret.